Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing great. Today we're diving into a fascinating topic that's been stirring up quite a bit of buzz in the defense and aviation communities, the Shenyang J-35, China's next generation stealth fighter jet that's grabbing attention around the globe. Now, if you follow military aviation even casually, you've probably heard of the J-20. China's primary stealth fighter, currently in service. But what about the J-35? Well, the J-35, also referred to as the FC-31 or Jeep Falcon, is an entirely different beast with unique characteristics and a growing role in the Chinese military strategy, especially in naval operations. Originally introduced as a private venture by Shunyang Aircraft Corporation, the J-35 has evolved over the years, undergoing several redesigns and improvements. What started off as a prototype aimed at export markets is now shaping up to become a key component of China's carrier-based air power. The latest iterations show a sleeker, more stealth-optimized design with improved engines and advanced avionics signaling a significant leap from the earlier versions. The J-35 is a twin engine, fifth generation stealth fighter. It features a distinctive twin tail design, internal weapon bays, and a reduced radar cross section to enhance survivability in contested airspace. The jet is roughly similar in size to the American F-35 Lightning II, which it is often compared to although there are notable differences in their roles and capabilities. One of the most interesting aspects of the XHJ-35 is its carrier compatibility. Unlike the J-20, which is primarily land-based, the J-35 is being tailored for deployment on aircraft carriers. That includes folding wings for storage aboard naval vessels, reinforced landing gear for catapult launches and arrested landings and coatings and structural elements designed to withstand the harsh maritime environment. With China's expanding carrier fleet, including the Fujian-class carriers, equipped with electromagnetic catapults, the J-35 is poised to be the centerpiece of the naval air wing. Now let's talk performance. While exact specifications are still under wraps, Estimates suggest the J-35 has a maximum speed of over Mach 1.8, with a combat radius exceeding 1,000 kilometers. The aircraft is expected to be highly maneuverable, equipped with modern radar, systems, advanced sensors, and data fusion capabilities that allow it to operate effectively in both air superiority and strike roles. It can carry a mix of air-to-air -air missiles, precision-guided bombs, and potentially even electronic warfare equipment. As with many Chinese military projects, there's a fair amount of mystery and speculation surrounding the J-35, but recent appearances at air shows and leaked footage from test flights give us strong clues about its capabilities and readiness. Reports indicate that the jet is nearing the final stages of development and we could see it enter service with the Chinese Navy within the next few years. Strategically, the J-35 represents a major step forward in China's efforts to modernize its military and project power in the Indo-Pacific region, with the United States and its allies enhancing their own naval and aerial capabilities. The J-35 is China's answer to maintaining a competitive edge particularly in scenarios involving Taiwan or disputed territories in the South China Sea. So what does this all mean in the big picture? The J-35 is not just another fighter jet. It's a symbol of China's rising technological capabilities and its growing ambition to match or surpass Western military power. Whether it will live up to the hype remains to be seen, but there's no doubt that it has the potential to reshape the balance of power in the skies. 
All right, that's it for today's deep dive. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the Shenyang J35, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.